hypothyroidism. It is the most common hormonal or endocrine disorder in the dog. It occurs when thyroid gland fails to produce the sufficient amount of the thyroid hormones, that is the thyroxine, also known as T4, and triadothyronine, also known as T3. In dogs, hypothyroidism generally occurs in the mid age to the older dogs, and it occurs more commonly in the medium to the larger breeds of dogs. Before going ahead, let's learn the anatomy and the physiology of the thyroid gland. Thyroid gland located in the neck near the trachea and it has the two separate lobes that lie on the either side of the trachea exactly that you can see on the picture as you can see on the picture that there is a hypothalamus pituitary thyroid axis to understand the hypothyroidism easily it is important to learn this axis normally hypothalamus secrete the thyrotropin releasing hormone that is the trh and this trh act on the pituitary gland to secrete the thyroid stimulating hormone that is the TSH and it also known as thyrotropin and this TSH act upon the thyroid gland which secrete the T4 and the T3 hormone. So T4 and the T3 hormone produced by the thyroid gland in response to the stimulus by the pituitary gland. A feedback mechanism exists between the thyroid gland and the pituitary gland meaning when T4 concentration in the blood are low the pituitary gland send a signal to the thyroid gland using the TSH hormone and this cause the thyroid gland to produce the more T4 hormone and when the T4 level in the circulation are the sufficient or adequate the pituitary gland decrease the production of TSH and it ultimately result into the decreasing production of the T4 hormone. Now let's understand the causes that lead to the hypothyroidism. Lymphocytic thyroiditis and Idiopathic thyroid gland atrophy are the most common etiology that result into the hypothyroidism. In that, first is a lymphocytic thyroiditis, meaning it is an autoimmune inflammation of the thyroid gland. This condition is immune mediated disease, meaning the immune system decides that thyroid gland is foreign to the body and it produces the lymphocyte as an antibody against the thyroid gland and it attacks the thyroid gland and result into the inflammation. That's how it named lymphocytic thyroiditis. Second one is a idiopathic thyroid gland atrophy, meaning shrinkage of thyroid gland occur and normal thyroid tissue is replaced by the fat tissue. If we break down this term, idiopathic means the disease occurs spontaneously without any reason and atrophy means decrease in the size of cell or organ. There are two types of hypothyroidism. First one is a primary hypothyroidism. It is the most common form in the adult dogs. There are few causes that related to the primary hypothyroidism. They are lymphocytic thyroiditis, idiopathic thyroid atrophy, thyroid neoplasia, itrogenic hypothyroidism, meaning when the treatment for the hyperthyroidism caused the suppression of the total thyroxine hormone that is the T4 below the normal level it result into the itrogenic hypothyroidism. Primary hypothyroidism also known as thyroidal hypothyroidism because most of the causes are related to the thyroid gland. Moreover, lymphocytic thyroiditis and idiopathic thyroid gland atrophy, these two causes are responsible for more than 95% cases of the hypothyroidism. Second one is a secondary hypothyroidism. This type of hypothyroidism occurred due to the inability of pituitary gland to secrete the TSH causing the thyroid tissue atrophy, pituitary neoplasia, pituitary cyst, pituitary destruction, pituitary malformation. These are the causes for the secondary hypothyroidism. And secondary hypothyroidism also known as pituitary hypothyroidism as most of the causes are related to the pituitary gland. And secondary hypothyroidism is responsible for less than 5% cases of the hypothyroidism. Now it is time to learn the clinical signs of the hypothyroidism. In hypothyroidism, the metabolic rate slow down due to the low concentration of the thyroid hormone. So owner often say that my dog is gaining weight like a pig without increase in the appetite. <laughs> so remember guys, in hypothyroidism, dog is getting obese without eating much. In hypothyroidism, dog have decreased the activity level. So it lead to the lethargy, 
एंड लेक ऑफ द डिजायर टू द एक्सरसाइज हाइपोथाइरोड डॉग आर द हीट सीकर और कोल्ड इन टॉलरेंस मीनिंग डॉग हैज लॉस द एबिलिटी टू टॉलरेट द कोल्ड सो डॉग विल जनरली ट्राई टू फाइंड द वॉर्म प्लेसिस dry dull hair with excessive shedding and failure to regrow the hair after the shaving or clipping there is a sign of non pruritis alopecia that is often bilaterally symmetrical over the trunk except the head and the leg area this hair loss often start on the tail area and it lead to the red tail appearance pyoderma seborrhea hyperpigmentation are the skin related sign that are seen in the hypothyroidism there is a also sign of हाइपर कोलेस्टेरोलेमिया मीनिंग इंक्रीज इन द कोलेस्टेरोल लेवल बिकॉज थाइरॉइड हॉर्मोन आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द बोथ प्रोडक्शन एंड द ब्रेकडाउन ऑफ द लिपिड और फैट इन हाइपोथाइरोड स्टेज द लिपिड ब्रेकडाउन इज डिक्रीज सो देट फैट एक्यूमुलेट इन द सर्कुलेशन एंड इट लीड टू द हाइपर कोलेस्टेरोलेमिया फॉर मेल डॉग देर विल बी लॉस ऑफ लिबिडो दैट इज द लॉस ऑफ सेक्सुअल डिजायर विच लीड टू द इनफर्टिलिटी फॉर फीमेल डॉग there will be loss of heat or stress that lead to the infertility and aversion can also be seen sometimes few dogs have the thickening of the facial skin which lead to the tragic facial expression exactly that you can see on the picture and some dog often develop the facial nerve paralysis now let's talk about the diagnosis the most common test is the total thyroxin that is a total t4 test for the diagnosing the hypothyroidism but for the definitive or the confirmatory diagnosis the free t4 by the equilibrium dialysis method is the most accurate method to confirm that this is a case of hypothyroidism here you will ask what is the free t4 level so t4 circulate in the blood in a two form one form is bound or attached to the protein in the blood and second form is circulate freely within the blood circulation the total t4 test measures the both form of t4 in the blood and it is the cheaper option compared to the free t4 test suppose if a total t4 concentration is within the normal range the dog is not hypothyroid but if the total t4 concentration is below the normal range and dog have the supporting clinical signs and symptom then it is a chance that dog have the hypothyroidism but 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 we cannot solely rely on the total t4 level test because there are certain condition or illness or drugs that can cause the decrease in the total t4 level in the blood in this scenario the free t4 test comes into the picture the free t4 test only measure the free t4 concentration in the blood and you will be surprised to know that the free t4 is less affected by the presence of other illness or drugs so we can solely rely on the free t4 test not the total t4 test to diagnose the hypothyroidism that's why i said for the confirmatory diagnosis of the hypothyroidism we need to perform the free t4 test by the equilibrium dialysis method however free t4 test only perform at the some specific laboratory and it is more costly and it require the more time to get a result so most of the vet commonly choose the total t4 test to diagnose the hypothyroidism but if the total t4 test gives the confusing result then we can go for the free t4 test to diagnose the hypothyroidism now suppose if total t4 concentration is below the normal range and free t4 concentration is within the normal range then in this scenario dog do not have the hypothyroidism for the confirmation of hypothyroidism the free t4 must be below the normal range with the supportive clinical signs and the symptoms during the hypothyroidism there will be increase in the thyroid stimulating hormone that is the tsh here you will ask why in hypothyroidism there is a decrease in the t4 and increase in the tsh hormone so listen very carefully there is a feedback mechanism between the pituitary gland and the thyroid gland in hypothyroidism due to the low t4 it send a signal to the pituitary gland and it respond to that pituitary gland try to stimulate the thyroid gland to increase the t4 production by releasing the tsh hormone that's why tsh hormone increase in the hypothyroidism so remember 
hypothyroid dog must have increased the TSH and low T4 hormone. So, TSH, total T4 and free T4 are the essential hormone that you need to keep in mind for understanding the diagnosis of hypothyroidism. Here, I have prepared a very exquisite chart for you to remember this all hormone story by the reference of Merck's manual. Now, we only left with the treatment aspect of the hypothyroidism. Treatment is so obvious that you know that already. We have to do the T4 replacement therapy. Levothyroxine is the synthetic version of the T4 hormone that is used for the hypothyroidism. Levothyroxine can be used at the 0.02 mg per kg orally at the 12 hour interval. Now, we have reached to the end of the video. I hope you have learned this topic deeply with fun and enjoyment. Lastly, I have two words to say. They are Radhe Radhe.